Hello everyone, Dr. Nelson here. Here's a quick video on exponents. So for the first page, will you please fill out these notes with me? So please stay with me. And then there'll be a few problems for you to try on your own. And then finally, you can see how you did. All right, so take a look here. So here we have five to the fourth power. So let's first identify the parts of this. All right, so this five, that's called the base. So please write that in. Now the four, this can be called one of two things. This is either the exponent, or the power. All right, so here we have five to the fourth power. So take a look at this. Here we have five to the fourth power. So what does this mean? So this really means five times five times five times five, and then five times five is 25, times five is 125, times five gives us 625. All right, now what does this not mean? All right, common error is to say that five to the fourth power is five times four, which is 20. All right, that's definitely not the case. So let's fill in these. So r times r times r, we can write that with a base of r, and then an exponent of three. Uh, this expression we have, let's see, we have s times s times u times s times u times u times four. So I'm gonna write this as four times, we have one, two, three s's. So it's gonna be s to the third power times u to the third power. Now this expression I'm gonna expand. So we have 11 p squared e to the fourth. So we can write this as 11 times p times p times e times e times e times e. All right, so there's your notes. So go to the next page of your notes and there's some problems for you to try. And then I want you to see how you did. Good luck. Please pause the video and try the practice problems. When you're done, hit play. All right, welcome back. Let's see how you did with the problems. So here we have x times x times x times x times x. So this one, we know the base is gonna be an x and the exponent is gonna to be to the fifth power. So x to the fifth. Here we have an eight, and that's the only number we have, so it's gonna be eight. And then it's gonna be y to the third, and then z squared. The next one we have, let's see, five times two is 10, and we have two t's, right? So it's gonna be t squared, and then one, two, three, four v's, so it'll be v to the fourth power. All right, now these, it says rewrite each expression without exponents. So this one we can write as three times three times three times three, which then equals, let's see, three times three is nine, times three is 27, times three is 81. Next one, two to the fifth power means two times two times two times two and times two so see, two times two is four, times two is eight, times two is 16, and then finally times two gives you 32. Last but not least, we have c cubed z squared. So again, to write these without exponents, I'm gonna write this as c times c times c times z times z. And there it is. All right, how'd you do?